So I don't know about you, but nine out of 10 times when I buy green onions uh, to use in a recipe, I never get through the entire bunch. And if I didn't track ingredients like I do, the rest of these green onions could easily be forgotten in the fridge and then wilt and then go to waste, which is a shame because although they don't look so nice anymore to use on top of, let's say, a noodle dish. They still have a lot of flavor in them. So we're gonna make two marinades using these leftover green onions. And the first marinade is a garlic soy marinade. And I'm actually making this one for the first time, but the ingredients look really good. So I think it's gonna taste really nice on a grilled chicken. As for the second marinade, it's one I've made many, many, many times. It's more of a sweet jerk chicken type of marinade. And every time we make it, it goes over well with everyone. Make them, freeze them, and then they're waiting and ready for you when you need them. So nothing potentially delicious here goes to waste. Just trim off these tops. See, we don't really want those. Those aren't gonna add anything to our marinade. So those can go away. I'll do the same on this side as well. That's step one. The next step's just as easy. So four days later, I put this marinade to the test and the marinade itself really tasted good. It made the chicken look delicious when it was cooking on the grill. And honestly, it smelled amazing. But when I tasted it, something was definitely missing. And it wasn't until I went back through the footage and saw this. I had forgotten to add the dried thyme. Dang it. Okay, so for this second marinade, we're going to use up the rest of these green onions here. Super simple. So here's what we're going to do. Big chops. That's all you need. And just put those right in the blender. So next up, we need a quarter cup of lime juice. And we're just going to give those a squeeze right in with this little handy dandy tool. I love this thing. That's two tablespoons. Three. That's it. Quarter cup. Okay, one final tip with making this marinade, and then I'm gonna give you a bonus tip uh, once we finish making it. Don't measure the molasses first. Measure the cooking oil. So once you measure your cooking oil in your measuring spoon, there's one, and there's two. I think you, <laughs> I think you guess what's gonna happen here. The oil has kind of made the measuring spoon nice and slick, so the molasses comes out of it easy. Anyway, that's a time saver. Works really well. And uh, finally, hey, if we're measuring already, let's stick with it. One and two. Now, all we have to do is really add the spices and the garlic. Okay, let's get this into our storage bag. And back to that bonus tip I was gonna share with you. If you marinate your chicken in this jerk chicken marinade and you freeze it, it really intensifies the flavor as that chicken thaws with the marinade. I have no scientific proof to back this up. I can just tell you that that is what I've noticed each time I've made this marinade froze it with the chicken, and then thawed the chicken. It just intensifies the flavor. Oh, it's just so, so good. So there you have it. Two marinades you can make using up those leftover green onions that you might find hiding in your fridge. If you like these ideas, please hit the like button. 
or share a comment to let me know. And if you like what we're doing here in these Look in the Fridge Friday videos, then subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Enjoy your marinated grilled chicken. Cheers.